Question 12 asks, if n is equal to 8, that's this uh, same n right here, and 16 times 2 to the m power is equal to 4 to the n minus 8 power, then m is equal to what? It turns out this is a pretty simple problem if you understand two basic questions. And so the two questions that you need to know is what happens when I raise a number to the zeroth power, what's that equal to? And what happens when I raise a number to a negative number, negative c for instance? Then what do I get? What's that equal to? And I think the easiest way for me to remember what these two terms are equal to is to think about powers of two. So there's some that I remember really easily. Let's consider two to the third power. Well, that's just equal to two times two times two. I multiply two together three times and that's equal to eight no problem easy to do two to the second power what's that equal to well now instead of multiplying two together tw three times i multiply it together uh, twice and now i have four so far no problems two to the first power this is actually the easiest one of all so that's just equal to a two right so we're going fine now what about two to the zero with power so here's where we're left scratching our head a little bit like how many twos do we need in there to figure this one out and here's where we can use a kind of cool fact which is that each of these steps we were dividing by the number that we were taking to the power of so eight divided by two is four four divided by two is two and 2 divided by 2 is the answer to this next one, which is 1. And that actually turns out to be pretty easy. What about 2 to the negative 1? It turns out that, that we just divide by 2 again. So we actually have 1 over 2. That's equal to 1 half. And finally, uh, let's consider 2 to the negative 2 power. We could keep going, but I won't go much farther here. That's just 1 divided by 2 times 2. It's equal to 1 over 4. And all of this we can realize by just continuing to follow this relationship, dividing by 2 at each step and realizing that's what uh, powers really ought to do when they behave properly. And so we know now that x to the 0 with power uh, we saw right here and that's going to be equal to just one all the time that's equal to one and x to a negative power turns out that it's exactly equal to the same power one over x to the same number uh, but as a positive number so two to the negative two is equal to one over four that's equal to one over two squared right and if we know these two relationships, it's really easy to solve our problem up above. So let's set it up now that we know these relationships. 16 times 2 to the m power, and we don't know what m is, so we'll just write uh, in m, is exactly equal to 4 to the n power. And in this time, I know what n is. It equals 8, so it equals 8 minus uh, 8. All right, so one half of this equation is really easy. Four to the eight minus eight is the same as saying four to the zero, and that's equal to 16 times two to the m power. All right, so far no problems. And now we can use this relationship that we have. Four to the zeroth power we know is equal to one. So here we have one, perfect. Okay, one is equal to 16 times two to the m power. All right, so I divide both sides of this equation by 16 here, and we have 2 to the m uh, power is equal to 1 over 16. Here, I'll switch colors and write my m in there. And now is where we have to use our second relationship about negative powers. If we wanted to get uh, 1 over 16, well, we know that 16 is equal to 2 to the fourth power. It's equal to, uh, this is exactly equal to 1 over 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 16, and that's exactly equal to 1 over 2 to the fourth power. And that means that m must be equal to what? Negative 4. m is negative 4, and if that was true, 2 to the negative uh, fourth power is equal to 1 over 16 for the reasons that we saw over here. That makes the correct answer F.